Hello, this is Christophe de Dinchin and I'm going to give you a quick view of TB48X version 0.4.6. Uh, so I'm going to cover a number of new th features since uh, 0.4.3, which is the last time I recorded the video. Um, as you can see, this runs on both uh, the GM32 and the GM42 calculator. Uh, I'm going to do most of the demo on the 42. I've been told that uh, it was interesting to do a demo on battery power so that you can see uh, how it behaves um, when not on USB. And also you can see on the left an overlay that was done by Spiff72. Uh, uh, this is not the final overlay. We have made some changes in the keyboard layout that I'm going to discuss. But I think we are getting close to the final layout for menus and keyboard. So let me shift to the DM32, focus there on the 42, and, um, and we're going to see what is new. So uh, the first thing is that we now have command and stack history. So if I do 1, 2, 3, plus 23, and I do a last, now I have the last arguments and I can repeat that. Um, there is also an undo if I shift twice and do last. I'm going to get the last stack. So this is a, a recording of the last arguments and the last stack. There is also a last X function just in case you want to more easily port RPN programs. Uh, the last text function is available in the stack menu, so you can see it um, here. So it's uh, twice shifted and last x. Okay, um, we also have a common history which is eight deep, which I get by shifting twice and up, and that records the last few things that I typed on the command line. So since I only entered two things, then it's going to beep. And of course it records more complicated things. Uh, and so on. Uh, there is also a full, full edit menu that I can get with double shift and down. So let me show that to you. And uh, as you can see, this has select, word movements, cut, copy, paste, uh, cur sw the switching between cursor and uh, selection position, beginning and end of uh, the text, search, replace, and clear. So we can do some editing with that to see how this works. Let me recall the demo file. Uh, so you may remember in the demo file we have things like a little workman or walking man, we have um, text demos. We have demos for graphic code. Uh, let me go back to record there. We have demos for instance, sorry, demos for um, plotting. Oops run it and so this shows how to plot various functions etc so you have all these demos that you can explore and we are going to use one of them and um, look at it so let me start with the first one for instance so I recall it on the stack and then I'm going to edit it so I just hit the down key to bring up the editor and I can move my cursor around like this and I can select, so this is, let me bring up the editor menu, shift twice. I can select, and now if I move down, so let me move the cursor down, and you see that it selects the text. And I can flip between the cursor beginning and end, so I'm going to do that now with shift and F1. And you see that I'm going to the other side of the selection. Now I can, for instance, cut that 
and then paste it. Um, now let's do a little bit of search. So if I want, for instance, to search for, uh, let's see if we have an A somewhere, and it finds an A, then a, a B doesn't find a B. Um, let me let me search for Rob, for instance. Um, oops, sorry. So let me edit and search for G R. And you see that it's searching. And when you're searching, that the background of the text is not maybe not very visible, but it's grey. B. So you see it's incremental search like this. And if I'm done with my search, I do enter and I exit the search. So these are really the, the main changes. Uh, in terms of new feature, there is another one that is really handy, what, which is the mapping to the E key of the cycle function. Um, so that's going to cycle through unit sizes like uh, kilo, mega, and so on and hence the moving on the E key. But for now, it cycles, for instance, between various bases. Uh, for numbers in decimal format, it cycles between uh, decimal and fraction. For numbers like, um, if I have a, a list, for instance, so I create a list with one, two, three, and uh, it will cycle between lists, array, program, back to list. Um, another thing that is new as well is that when you are editing something, like say I'm editing an equation, and I type, for instance, A, oh sorry, that was a B, um, I'm holding my phone at the same time, and that turns into an equal key now. So that makes it easier to enter equations. So that's space when you're editing a program, eval it when you're, oops, because there's, interesting. Need to evaluate, to understand why this happened. Um, so this is evaluation. Um, when you're editing, uh, it's a space. And when you're in, a, in an equation, that's an equal. And, um, I think I covered most of the main new features uh, in these few releases, but as you can see, the user interface is getting closer and closer to something final. So I hope you enjoy this, uh, these various improvements. Uh, please give me some feedback, try it on your DM42, and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.